Hey, substituted naming of ketones. We're going to start good and hard because honestly, you're probably getting a feel for how the IUPAC nature works. So when we do this type of naming, the O-N-E naming system is what's used to designate that you have a ketone. So if you have a ketone in the compound and it's going to take the priority, and this is going to be true unless we have an aldehyde in there. So it's going to trump alcohols, it's going to trump alkenes, it's going to trump um, alkyl groups, and it's going to trump halogens. We're going to end in O. N E. Now, the ketone here needs to be on the longest carbon chain. So here I've got eight carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, because I have a double bond here, I would have an E here to designate the double bond. If I did not have the double bond, I would just leave that out. But regardless of whether or not you have an alkane, alkyne, or alkene, you need to specify the position of the ketone and it needs to take the priority. So it's one, two, three, four ohm. Now, because we have an alkene here, we also need to specify the start of the double bond. This would be five octene, four ohm. If there was no double bond here, it would just be octen, four ohm. So again, the only thing, the double bond here is gonna change the A to an E and we're gonna have to specify the position and also down here, we're going to, have to specify cis trans or easy. Now, everything else is going to be what you'd expect to name from an aldehyde or anything where an alcohol is not a priority group. So we've got a hydroxy group and a methyl group. We're going to put them in alphabetical order. So this is hydroxy methyl. And we've got a 3 hydro two methyl, 2 hydroxy. And in terms of the EZ, higher group is here. We look at this side of the bond, the lower group's here, the lower group's here, they are opposite. So this is E, 2 hydroxy, 3 methyl, 5 octene, 4 ohm. So yeah, I know this was a hard example to start on, but hopefully by this point in the course, you're starting to kind of pick up on the patterns here. We have to specify the position of the ketone because unlike an aldehyde, it can come anywhere in the molecule. So we do need to specify a position, we position, we specify that before the O-N-E. If we have an alkane as the parent chain, we just name the parent chain as normal. If we have an alkene in there, we need to name it as we would normally name it, but with the EN to specify the double bond and the number for the position, as well as the EZ here to designate whether it's cis or EZ, and everything else is named as you would normally expect to name it.